Okay, hello everyone. Uh, let me show you how to install and use Immersive Reader. First of all, uh, can you please type Install Learning Tools for OneNote on any search engine such as Google? Okay, let's search. Then click on Install Learning Tools Add-in for OneNote. Okay, here's the instructions. Okay, can you please click on download learning tools add-in? Then, uh, the add-in automatically installs here. Okay, once you finish installing, click on here. And then, please check Learning tools for OneNote here. I agree to license terms and conditions. Then click on install. Then click on yes. Okay, it's now installing. Okay, it says success. Click on launch OneNote. Okay, we are in OneNote now. As you can see on the top, learning tools appear here. Learning tools. Then click on learning tools. Okay, let's test it. Can you type anything you want, such as, hello everyone, how are you today? Then, highlight it. Then click on learning tools. Then click on immersive reading. Okay. It's a new screen. So you can click on play button. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Maybe you cannot hear uh, what it says, but I can hear clearly from my headphone. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Which is good. Okay, let's see another function. If you type such as this is a long pen, I'm extremely happy. Okay, highlight it, then click on immersive reader. Then this time, can you look at here? If you click on here, you can change the text size. Then you can change the spacing. Okay, it also, uh, click here, you can see very important point for reading. Automatically, verbs could be indicating in red. If you click on syllables, yes, it can automatically showing us syllables. Then click on noun. Yes, this part is a noun. Also click on adjective. It can show you uh, adjective. Then if you click on here, you can change uh, the speed of the voice reading. Okay, let's see another function. This time, let's see dictate. Okay, click on the microphone, then speak. Hello everyone. I am very happy. As you can see, uh, the text appears according to what I said, which is amazing. Thank you very much. This function is very good for students who have difficulties to write. Also, this is beneficial for teachers who want to save time to give students feedback. Okay, this time let's try to use another language. Okay, click on arrow here, just be f uh, below the icon of microphone. Then choose Japanese. Okay. Then let's click on the microphone. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Watashi wa totemo genki desu. Kyo wa minna de picnic ni koto omotte imasu. 
ありがとうございます。which is amazing. Yeah, this is good for students who want to learn another language. Also, which is good for teachers who want to teach another language to save time. Okay, thank you for watching. Enjoy the possibilities of this kind of technology. Thank you.